good morning from this grass field on a very grey Friday. So if you saw last week's video, you'll know that H suddenly started to limp and we went eventually to the vet and figured out why. And he had probably a foreign object between his toes that irritated his skin and made an infection. So she opened that area and now I have to treat it. So in this video, I just wanted, hello. So in this video, I just wanted to show you how I am treating this paw injury. Now, thankfully, we don't have to wear any bandage on his paw. Hello. Since it's not a nail injury and it's not under his paw. So that's very fortunate. But yes, I will do this as a voiceover. Just to make it easier for myself. You're... This is my coffee. Oi, oi. Welcome to the life with a German Shepherd. Yeah, he's doing so well. But he is taking it like a champ. I'm so proud of him so far. Yep, okay, I'm ready. Let's go home. But yeah, hope you find this video insightful. <laughs> So, H is getting painkillers once a day and antibiotics twice a day. And what I'm doing here is I'm chopping off the antibiotic pill and then I'm getting some painkillers. It's just by weight. And then I'm adding it to some cat wet food because then I'm sure he's going to eat it all up. And that's also why I'm chopping off that pill because it's just it makes it easier for him to get down. And as you can see, he really, really loves it. And this is what I always do when I'm giving pills or something that they might not want to eat. Alright, so now it's time for a morning walk. And he is sleeping with a sock on just so he's not licking his wound. And he's wearing a muscle. And he was just wearing a muscle for the first few days while we were trying to figure out how to put on that balloon. It is a bit tight, but they're supposed to be tight. And I didn't want him to bite me because I hit a sore spot or something. So, But I did stop using it after a couple of days once we got the hang of the whole balloon on, balloon off vibe. So now we are back from our morning walk and I need to clean his paw and the best way to do that is by mm -hmm. filling up a, a bag with water and then I have this shampoo with, yeah, I got it from the bed, it's fancy panty. And then we're basically just sitting here for four to six minutes, I think we did five minutes here and yeah, he kind of just accepted it. Of course it helps when I'm, you know, petting him and also feeding him treats. You can't see the bucket from here, but he is being fed treats and that really, really helps. And then I'm, I'm getting a bag of clean water just to remove the excess soap. And He's not a big fan of that. And then it's time to dry the paw. And he's doing so well. Of course, since it is fairly new, this whole cleaning paw thing, I am giving him a lot of treats in between whatever I'm doing. So now it's time to add one of two gels. This one is a disinfecting one that's going to clean the wound or the cut and as you can see he does not like it and i think for most dogs when it's something new this whole spray feeling they, they don't really like that and i also have a clip later on in this video where I, we've been doing this for i think we were on day four and he was doing so well with the whole spray thing so this spray gel is Putting a protective layer on the area, on the paw, so 
doesn't get infected or stuff like that. Helps with the healing okay. process as well. And Mama here is just having a look. Making sure it looks clean and nice. And then finally this Wonder Cream that I'm pretty much using for every slight inconvenience my dog has. It's to just, you know, help a, a cut or a wound or whatever your dog has gotten um, heal. It's very effective. And more treats. And yeah, that was it. So since the cut needs air to heal properly, I did buy some children's socks for him because he's not allowed to lick in his wound, obviously, because then it's never going to heal. And it's very difficult for me to make sure he doesn't do that during the night. So he keeps on licking it during the day. He put I put on a sock and during the night he definitely gets on a sock. And why not just make it cute and fun? And then I put a little hairband around so the sock doesn't fall off. So here we are on day four, I think. And it's basically the same. I just wanted to show you how well he's doing. And he, of course, wants to lie down, which makes a bit more difficult for Mama here, but we can make it work. But yeah, he, he's gotten so good at the whole paw cleaning thing. Of course, he doesn't love it, but you know, he, but he kind of just rolls with it. And now's the fun part, the spray. Just notice how good he is. Compared to the first day or the second day. Doing so well. I'm so proud of him. And this whole cleaning process we're doing for the first three or four days, I think. No, probably longer. We were cleaning it between three and four times a day. And of course, it needs a lot of air, and he's not allowed to lick in it. And then, right now, we are, I think, doing between one and two times a day. And I am, of course, keeping an eye on it, and it, it's healing so fine. Just putting on that cream again. And then we're done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. It doesn't have to be that difficult. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.